What's up guys, it's Nelson here from Jolly Roger Airsoft, and today we're going to be continuing our series on painting your guns by showing you the digital uh, stencil method of camouflaging. Now, this one is probably my least favorite, just because I can never achieve the best looks, and it's very time consuming, and um, it takes a long time to cut out the stencils. But you can get some really neat results with it if you uh, dedicate yourself and do it right. So, to start out, this is my rendition, I suppose. I used the Krylon three colors of camouflage that I have. And uh, I don't really like how it came out. I decided to do my camera because it's small and there's less room to take up to cover with the stencils. But I didn't like how it came out and I've never really been a big one on digital camouflaging with the stencil method because I think it sticks and it looks kind of funky sometimes. And it's hard to get just right. But still, it's a very valuable thing to know how to do. So. To do this, you are going to need wax or parchment paper. You're going to need paint tape. You're going to need an X-Acto knife, a Sharpie of some sort. You're going to need spray paint and something to spray paint. So, to start out, you're going to want to take your wax paper or parchment paper and lay it out over something you don't mind getting all cut up. Like I use an old, uh, an old uh, plastic bin cover, and I tape it all over there. So lay out your wax paper and then apply your paint tape over it in crossing so you cover it. Make a sheet of blue paint tape. So, once you have your sheet of blue paint tape, start drawing in the design you're going to want. I did digital camo square kind of patterns. But you can do whatever shapes and styles you want. Tiger shapes will be long and squiggly. So now, you have all those drawn out. Start cutting them out with your X-Acto knife. Uh, this is the most uh, annoying part of the whole thing. Well, actually, that's not true. I take that back. Cutting it out is annoying, but it's not as annoying as trying to get the wax paper off. But we'll get there. So, cut it all out and put it all in a pile next to it. Um, this be very, you know, as detailed as you want to be. I wasn't very detailed and it came out kind of crappy. So, um, yeah. Cut it all out. And then you're going to want to, uh, start by spray painting your base layer in your gun. You're not going to apply any stencils at this point because you want the base layer to be the first thing that you uh, cover up. So, spray paint your base layer on there and let it dry. Once you've let your base layer dry, then you can bring it back in and apply your stencils to it. This part sucks because you have to get the knife in there, kind of peel off the wax paper from the uh, from the paint tape, and then place the paint tape where you want it on the gun. This all goes very much how you want it to look. The more you cover up in the beginning, the less of the color of the base layer you will see. Brown was my base layer here, so I have predominantly uh, green and tan, but I did get a nice balance with this one. So you're going to paint that, you're going to tape them down, make sure it's nice and down tight or else you will get some smudging and stuff and leak from one color to the other and it looks kind of sloppy. So make sure it's all down and then you take it back out and spray paint over it with your second color. Now, spray paint with your second color and let that dry. Once that's dry, bring it back in and repeat for however many colors you're going to use. If you're going to use three, just do it one more time. If you're going to do four or five, do it two or three more times. And then, by the end, you're going to have a nice few layers of stencils. Don't take any of the stencils off until after you are done with all of it. So, paint all over it. Make sure you paint properly using good technique. If you're too up close, it'll run and it'll get under the paint and it'll look really sloppy. And again, we don't want that. And that's what happens because I'm bad at that and it looks sloppy when I do it. So, now that you have everything, you know, covered up, you're going to want to uh, start peeling it off. And this is really the most fun part because it's like opening a birthday present. Unless you know it looks bad and then you're kind of like, ugh. But, yeah, you should start peeling it off slowly, carefully. Try not to scratch the paint. You can apply a clear coat if you want to this finish, but it's not by any means required. So peel it all off, and there you have it. You have your, uh, you have your whatchamacallit, you have your gun or other device painted in whatever kind of stencil camouflage you want. Tiger Stripe, Multicam, or Digital Camo are the three most popular to do with this method. Um, just to say, this is how mine turned out again. I didn't really like how it turned out. My, If you can look up close, there's a lot of scratches, and my shapes aren't really diagonal. It looks like a cartoon character. But graph paper is really good to help when you're drawing digital camouflage. Uh, just get a piece of graph paper and it'll work really well. That's how I did my tomahawk and it looks a lot better, helps you keep on straight lines. So, that's pretty much it for digital camo. It's pretty simple, but it takes a long time. Make sure you let everything dry real good between coats because you don't want to get any leakage and the more, 
the more time and patience you have with it, this applies to all camo patterns, the more time and patience you have with it, the better it'll turn out usually. Uh, so yeah, if you're in a rush, it'll look like you're in a rush. That's pretty much it for digital camo. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we're probably going to go into, uh, I think, actually I take that back, I don't know. But if you have any questions about digital camoing or any kind of spray paint in general, you can consult our painter's guide, our basic painter's guide that we have up on our channel. And you can also ask me in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have about this subject or about any airsoft subject. So, that being said, feel free to give it a like if this helped you. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see all the rest of the series and all the sorts of reviews that are coming down the pipe. So, that's it for Digital Camo. Thanks for watching. This has been another episode of Jolly Roger Airsoft. Peace out.